So you want to know how to prank. You want to know how to be lazy. And you want to know how to be lazy in your tea making. Well, you've come to the right place. Because today, I will be teaching you about the magic of the utility cup. Let's get the normal setup. Oh, first of all. So it's been a long time since last time. Uh, so Toasty, what's changed in your life since last time? Yeah, I mean, I'll give a quick list. So, let's get the normal setup. Choosing cup first. I'm in a dilemma now. It, first of all, problems, dude. Trying to figure out which fucking teacup you want to make tea in. I'll take that one, fuck it. Sugar. anything this time. I'm getting better. And that's a lot of the shit that's changed since last time. Good. Now, I will not only be bringing over this, now I'm gonna walk back and forth because I'm an idiot that forgets things. This. Ooh, it's a small plastic cup. It's like that cup, but smaller and doesn't break. Also, we should probably have, like, start boiling some water. Because why, why would I do things in an order that's actually practical? New tea. It's not the old retarded one. Um, I can't open this with a single hand. Or so you thought. This is definitely how you should open your tea bags. Okay, fuck it, teeth then. I did, did, yeah, I did it. Eh. Tea. Tea goes in whole. This is advice for tea making, not sex. I mean, unless you're into that, in which case, I don't judge. All right, look. Fuck gay milk, fuck you. Professional, all right. So normally, we would wait for that one to get done and then pour milk in. But now we don't have to do that because here's the utility cup. Pour whatever milk you need in there. Now, you don't have to wait like Four minutes before you can go up wherever you want to be drinking the tea and drink the tea. You can just take your spoon, put it in there, take your cup, take your other cup, and use two hands, which I don't have available. I did not think this through, did I? So, I'm filming, which means I only have one hand, that's my right hand. Um, Actually, free, so I have to hold this one with this hand, um, which I'm gonna do in between fingers like this while also holding the camera. Phone. And here is the golden rule of the utility cup it is every time you fucking use it, once you get to the destination, it's been sitting for long enough that you can actually take this out already. So actually doing the next bit also requires two hands, which is... Uh, pretend that we are holding this one up while doing the other thing, and not just putting it here lazily because I have no more than one hand. Take this. Pour it in. To the right amount. Uh... Golden rule number two of the utility cup, you always bring way too much milk. Uh, do not drink this milk, because if you're making a cup of tea, you want something hot to melt all of your insides. You're not looking for something cold and fatty, like milk. So then you would put that in there, you would not have that there, just ignore it. Uh,
Now usually I would give it no more than a single stir, but this time I felt a little extra. And you would have dry this. The magic of camera placement. You can't actually see that I'm wiping my wet hand in my trousers and that's why I can come back every time and get more. I don't think I have anything more to do in this video, other than I suppose drink the tea. And yeah, it's actually a pretty good temperature. It's actually a pretty good cup of tea. Should I stir my tea more often? Is that it? Because I don't usually stir it this much. The things you learn. So, conclusion. Stir your things. Um, don't use the utility cup because it's not even good for people that are lazy. Uh, and I'm still single. Boom. Uh, thanks for watching. Also, I have a cup over here that I really like. It, it's the periodic table on a cup. It's quite nice.